What is going on guys? Welcome to Off-Road Wednesday. Today's a dirt bike day. We're working on the 72, 73, 72? 70-ish. 70-ish Kawasaki KT250 Trials Dirt Bike. Last time we were using it was at Busco Beach. I rode it for all of about two minutes. And I'm gonna be honest, I kind of hated it. The carburetor was a piece of crap. Well, yeah. Uh, the f it didn't have any freaking handle grips, and the gear lever was just a mess on your foot. It needs help. Yes. So over the last couple months, since we haven't been using it, we've been accumulating parts to kind of help restore it and bring it back and get it ready for next time we go to Bosco Beach, where it'll be a little more enjoyable. So we have a new carburetor, and we finally have a new regular size fuel tank for this KT250. Uh, we're probably gonna hit some tire slime to it, look for some handle grips, look for a new air filter, stuff like that. Before we start on it, we gotta go to the warehouse to get some fuel tank rubber mounts, which I took off of the old fuel tank. And we need to pick up an O-ring. Gotcha. Let's do some jump cuts. Dang it, Bobby. So we got everything we needed to get except for handlebar grips. So we have a reason to go out later. Uh, we're gonna start with the fuel tank, uh, at least removing it, and then we're gonna take the carburetor off, put the carb on, and then the fuel tank, and then probably we'll get some grips. Yeah. I don't think you have to take it all the way off. Nice. Ah, no, no! Oh, Lord. Yeah, dude. Oh, no. No! Oh, no! I'm just saying, we're gonna have to. No, we're not. There we go. Okay, cool. So we need a cameraman. Ah, yeah. I'm gonna try to figure out how to get rid of that air box. Damn. That's it. Yeah, I kind of rigged things what up. What in the world, dude? Well, the black stuff is the seal. And it's just, it used to be a rubber seal and it's broken down. Yep. I didn't do that. That was our arm there. I did this. I did that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> I, I did what I had to do to, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, nice filter, dude. I, I like how none of it made it on camera, though. You know. Oh, boy. Well, are, are you, you, you saying it should have made it on camera? I mean, you know. It's it just kind of convenient that the riggery didn't make it on camera is all. Hey, hey, man. Did you see that it did its job? Yeah, it collected some things. But some Look things, I'm sure, passed through. Well, uh, sure. Stuff that would have easily been ingested by oh, the yeah. engine. Yeah. It'll be fine. Yes. That. that room. Yeah. That's so much, so much more room for Activities. We can uh, fit a pot on there now. Definitely. Ordered this carburetor online like a month or two ago. Uh, it was just kind of a, there was no like obvious kind of direct bolt on for this. Um, so I used eBay. It looks crazy with all those lines. It's got some tubes. Yeah. Tube city. Well, let's see if it'll. Yeah, so I, I'm not even sure if this is gonna fit. Nope. Dang it. Ah, that's annoying. It sure is. Um. Dang it. Won't even sit down in there. Won't even sit down in there. What are we gonna put that on, guys? <laughs> Let us know. Can I try to put it on the 72 mile per hour go kart? We'll figure something out. This will go on something. Yeah. Just not this one. Well, that's a bummer. That is a bummer. So we've been looking at our options for carburetors. 
uh, as y'all saw, the the one that John ordered was too big. Then John was like, oh, how about a Makuni? Which I thought was a great idea. We usually use these on our uh, 212s from uh, gopowersports.com. I mean, they are, they are 212 and that's 250. And it's considered uh, an upgrade for a 212. Yep. Yeah, um, so anyhow, I got to looking at it and the uh, there's a couple of problems. One, the Makuni bolts on, whereas this one slips on. And the uh, throat of the carburetor is a lot smaller on the new one than the uh, old one. And we could run it lean enough with this carburetor that we damage the engine. So uh, I guess we'll keep searching for another carburetor. The good news is that the Makuni air filter is going to fit right on our Makuni carburetor. Boy, isn't that going to be nice. <laughs> GoPowersports.com. Oh man, that's... Well, at least we dressed it up. Yeah. So since the carburetor was a fail, we're just gonna clean this thing up with a pressure washer. Uh, yeah, it's gonna go right back in the mud, but at least we're gonna be getting 30 years of dust and grime off of it. Dude, it does look better. Got a copper washer that seems to fit. Perfect. And I'm gonna try to use the copper washers. I'm sure they use an O-ring, but I'm afraid my O-rings are not gonna work good. They're gonna probably get squished out. So this 250 Trials bike, it's not a super common dirt bike. Um, so it took us a little while to find a tank. And this tank, uh, it was like 150 bucks and it's not in perfect shape. It's got some dents. Um, the paint is pretty faded and even missing in some places, but it's the best we had. And the original tank that I took off it literally had holes in it. There was no, or the metal, it was rusted so badly that there was no metal left. It was just paint. Uh, so this is a lot better than that. And uh, it's gonna dress up the bike, make it look a lot better than that little kitty tank we have on it. Cranks up. Did you want to smoke up the shop? Enough. Good enough, man. We're gonna see you in a second. Uh, we're gonna look into ordering a proper carburetor and some tires. Well, all right, I ordered tires months ago. They never showed up and I forgot about that until today. So we're gonna look into that, see y'all in a second. After we pressure washed the dirt bike, we realized it had quite a bit of rust on the chassis and rust and dirt especially really don't mix. This frame is going to completely rust away if we don't do anything about it. So while I was out today, I grabbed some Pour 15, which is a rust encapsulator. We have a link to this stuff in the description of this video. I've used Pour 15 in the past on my Chevy C10 truck over there. Uh, it's really easy to use. Uh, just don't get it on anything. Anyway, uh, I'm not gonna do the whole chassis. I'm only gonna do the key areas that has rust popping out. So let's get to it.
I am all done with the touch-up paint. It didn't need a lot, but I was still pretty conservative uh, just because I didn't want it to be glaringly obvious that this had touch-up paint on it. So that's all we have for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Check Ike out at Isaac It'll Be Fine. We got to thank our sponsor, GoPowerSports.com. I enjoy the dirt bike stuff just because it's different than the usual stuff we do. It's a nice breath of fresh air for us. Anyway, and let us know if you want to see uh, more stuff with this bike or dirt bikes in general. This could use a full restoration. So let us know if you want to see a restoration of this vintage Kawasaki. Anyway, thank you for watching and we will see you Monday.